Hello everybody. Now this video will talk about the microcode of the Western Digital Hard Drives. For Western Digital Hard Drives, microcode is very important to recognize if the drive can be one dollar for the firmware repair. Now I have connected one Western Digital Hard Drive to the DFSRP WD firmware repair program. Now let's power on it. The drive gets ready. Now we can enter the program by normal mode. Sometimes if the firmware modules, I mean the firmware module list cannot be accessed. It doesn't matter, only if the hard drive PCB is good. Because the microcode comes from two places. First, users can get this microcode from the firmware modules on the SA. That means on the platter. The other place is the microcode from the ROM which is located on the PCB. So we can check from the firmware module list. We can click the module ID and sort them easily. Here we can check the overname modules. Module 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, we can see here. This is module description. So all users can check the description to recognize the module functions and module lengths. So we can double click the modules. For example, the module 11. On the right side, we can see this is microcode. So we can see this drive has microcode of 000-3004V. And we can see this one is the same, exactly the same as the one displayed on the menu. Or we can see on the status bar. Now this is the micro code from the platter, from the service error, the SA. Because SA is located on the platters. And here we can see that the module 12, module 13, if we double click to open it, and the micro code is also the same. Now we can check the other place to get this micro code. Go to hex and click ROM. So this is the module list included in the ROM. Now we double click module 4F. This is ROM module. So these modules are stored in the PCB. So only if the PCB is good, then we can find, we can read these modules. But we just need to read the module 4F. Now we select it, click OK, and we can see here, on the right side, this one is also the same as the one displayed on this status bar. Now we can compare it. So sometimes if the ROM microcode is not the same as the microcode in the SA, if these two doesn't match, then users need to find the same microcode to note, to note in the SA. 
to make it match with the ROM microcode. That means for all working hard drives, the SA microcode from the modules must be the same as the microcode from the ROM. Now ROM, we just click ROM, select 4F, and click OK, then we can read the microcode from the ROM. So users just need to simply compare these two microcodes and see if they are the same. But one important thing for users to note, that is, for new Western digital hard drives, after the PCB 16 quarter, there is one digit difference between the microcode of the SA and microcode of the ROM. Now let's check the SATA one. This is one new Western digital hard drive, SATA one. Now we can see there is one digit difference. First, we check the microcode of the SA by click the module 11. Now we can see it ended with one W. But here the microcode is one V. VW. Actually, there is one digit difference. But this one is also okay because this this one is new Western digital hard drives. This is decided by the factory design, so no problem. But for the old Western digital hard drives, they are exactly the same. For new, there is one digit difference. So remember, this microcode displayed on the tool on the Western Digital Formal Repair program. This one is from the ROM 4F module. And this one is from the SA. We just compare the ROM microcode and the SA microcode. Now I hope it's clear enough. Thank you for watching this video.